AC Hercules is a binary star about 4600 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Hercules. AC Hercules is composed of a dying post AGB star in a binary with a normal main sequence star. A post AGB star is a star on a short stage of stellar evolution between the end of the AGB red giant stage and the planetary nebula phase usually lasting just a few thousand to a few ten thousand years, depending on the star's initial mass. This is where the star slowly stops fusing material, while shrinking from a bloated, cool red giant to a small, hot, dying star, releasing its outer layers in the process. Post-AGB stars tend to release a lot of dust as they die, which forms into a cocoon around them. Sometimes this can settle into disks around binary stars, which include a post-AGB star. Such is the case with AC Hercules. However, analysis of the disk reveals that it starts much further from the binary than expected. Instead of the inner edge of the disk being about 9 astronomical units from the stars, it's located at least 26 astronomical units from the stars, 3 times further than expected. The discrepancy is best explained with the presence of a third low-mass object in the system, orbiting the binary star, which, if massive enough, could disturb the disk by exchanging angular momentum with it, causing the particles in the disk to be flung outward and keeping them in a faraway position from the star. This third body in the system, if it exists, is most likely a large planet, a gas giant, orbiting the dying binary star at a large distance, possibly at around Uranus's distance from the Sun. This process is thought to be very efficient in trapping the dust grains outside while letting the gas through, accreting onto the stars, which produces AC Hercules's secondary stars, observed accretion disk and stellar jets. Very recent observations published in October 2023 indicate that the disk is in fact orbiting sideways relative to the binary star's orbits, or in other words, on a polar orbit. This is the first time a polar disk has ever been identified around a post-AGB binary, and this makes AC Hercules' possible planet the first potential polar circumbinary planet. Inclined at about 96 degrees relative to the stellar orbits, or about the same as Uranus's axial tilt. The disk's age is estimated to be about 100,000 years, and it can take only 10,000 years for the disk to incline slowly and achieve polar orbit. To do this, it must have formed at an inclination of about 65 degrees or more relative to the stellar orbits to be able to slowly incline towards a polar orbit over about 10,000 years. However, this process only works for small disks of less than about 100 astronomical units, while the disk around AC Hercules is much bigger. So the big disk must have expanded from a smaller disk. However, that process takes around a million years, which is much longer than the post-AGB stage. More analysis of how the disk is needed to confirm how it has evolved. What would such a planet like the one possibly around AC Hercules look like? Well, since the planet has been able to clear its orbit of dust, then this dust may have settled into a disk orbiting the planet, like huge rings, and not unlike what we've seen at PDS-70C, a very young and still forming planet. Second generation moons may also be found within this disk. Since the outer disk is analogous, to a protoplanetary disk, one could imagine that a planet may have formed inside the disk, a zombie planet of sorts, born from the remains of dying stars. However, it's also possible that the planet just formed right at the start, along with the stars themselves, a very long time ago. Even if that is the case, it is very possible that there are other smaller planets which may have formed out of the disk, and are waiting to be detected in further observations. The prediction of a planet orbiting AC Hercules is consistent with the conclusion of an earlier study, which predicted that a certain type of disk around post-AGB binaries 
called a transition disk, of which AC Hercules is an example, could be the result of a giant planet carving a hole in the disk, trapping dust in the outer regions. Whether these planets, orbiting these dying stars, had existed before these disks formed, or were formed in the disks themselves, is still an open question. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more space content.